Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about IPv4 header, topic of computer network. So before discuss about IPv4 header format, I will give you basic introduction of the IP. IP stands for Internet Protocol. IP is also known as logical address in the network. IP is connectionless protocol. Next, packet in the IPv4 layer, it means the packet in the network layer is called as datagram. Next. Datagram is consist of two parts, one is the header and second one is the data. In this video, I am going to discuss about header of the IPv4. Next, using IP, host to host communication is possible if sender and receiver both are in the same network or in the different network. If sender and receiver both are in the same network, we can communicate with sender and receiver through the IP address as well as the MAC address. If you want to know about the host to host communication in the same and different network, then click on the above thumbnail. Next, IP address can assign to the devices like computers, routers and manageable switches. Here computers are end devices and routers and manageable switches are the intermediate devices in the network. Let us see the block diagram of IPv4 datagram. Why this block diagram is called a datagram, not a IPv4 format? Because here IPv4 header and data both are attached. So this is the diagram of IPv4 datagram. So header consists of different 13 field and the 14 field of data is attached with the header. So it is known as IPv4 datagram. Now in this video I am going to discuss about all the field of the IPv4 header. Let us start with the first field of the header. It is version. Version contains the 4 bits of data. There are two different version of internet protocol used in the network. One is IPv4 and second one is IPv6. Here I am going to discuss about IPv4. So version 4 is stored over here. Next field. Next field is HEL. HEL contains the 4 bits of data. HEL stands for header length. So here the length of header is 32 bits. Next field. Service type. So this field contains the 8 bits of data. There are different types of quality of services provided to the IP datagram. Services like less delay, high throughput, reliability of the packet. Next field is total length. Total length contains the 16 bits of data. Here total length means the length of datagram. So length of datagram is equal to header plus data. The length of header minimum is 20 bytes and maximum is 60 bytes. And the length of data is minimum is 20 bytes and maximum is 65,535 bytes. So in this field, it stores the total length of datagram. Next field, datagram identification. It contains 16 bits of data. So in this field, sender assigned a unique number to in each datagram. So this unique number is used for the fragmentation process. So here, what is fragmentation? Fragmentation is required when the length of packet is too high at that time. Packet is divided into fragment and sent into the network. So whenever packet is divided into the fragment at that time unique number is assigned by the datagram identification field. Next field is flex. It contains three bits. Here there are three bits in the flex. It means three different kind of flex are used in the IPv4 header format. The first bit of the flag is always zero because it is the reserve bit. The second bit is assigned as one. It means there is do not fragment in the datagram. If the second bit is assigned as zero, it means the allow the fragmentation. Why fragmentation are required, we have already discussed in the datagram identification. Third bit is the more fragment bit. If there is no fragmentation in the datagram, it set as zero. Next field is fragment offset. It contains the 13 bits of data. The use of fragment offset is reassemble the data and make a full datagram. So at receiver side, fragmentation offset field is the very important because all the datagrams send in the different fragment. So all the datagrams reach at the destination at any time. So at the destination side, flag is checked. So at the sender side, datagram is converted into fragment and then fragment is sent to the receiver side. So receiver receive all the fragments and reassemble all the fragment and make a full datagram. So it is the purpose of fragment offset. Next field, TTL, time to leave. TTL contains eight bits of data. TTL field is used specify the time datagram is allowed to travel. For example, here time to leave or we can say TTL field is set as 180 second. So at every process TTL field value is reduced. If TTL field value is 0 before the packet reach at the destination, so it means packet is discarded from the network. 
So the purpose of TTL is before TTL time is zero, the packet must be reached at the destination site. Next field, protocol. It contains the eight bits of data. The purpose of protocol field is which higher layer protocol is used with the IP. For example, protocol number is one, it means ICMP is used with the IP address. If protocol number is six, it means the TCP is used with the IPv4. If protocol number is 17, it means the UDP is used with the IPv4. Next field, header checksum. It contains the 16 bits of data. Header checksum consists of the information contained in the header. The use of header checksum is to check the integrity at the receiver side. If any of the field in the header is changed in between the network, so the value of header checksum field is changed. If the header checksum does not match the content at the receiver side, the datagram is discarded by the receiver. So also we can say header checksum is used for the security purpose. Next field is source IP address. Source IP address contains the 32 bits data. Source IP address means the IP address of the sender. Next field, destination IP address. It contains the 32 bits of data. Destination IP address means the receiver IP address in the network. So in this uh, IPv4 header format, source IP and destination IP is set by the sender. So at the receiver side, both the IP address source and destination is verified. If destination IP is matched with the destination, then and then IP datagram is accepted otherwise it will be discarded the last field is option option is the variable length field and use of the option is the control and debugging of the ipv4 datagram in the option field we can add timestamp security and root of the ipv4 datagram thank you for watching this video